Another big story today, ODOT delayed plans to evict a homeless camp in North Portland. It's on Greeley Avenue under Overlook Park, and tonight we're getting answers from the mayor who may be working to let the camp stay. Chris Woodard has the latest. If, we, if they kick us all out a month from now, this place will be lined up again. Those living in this makeshift camp along Greeley Avenue say it's time to try something different. Yeah, we're kind of hoping that the mayor uh, lets us regulate this. They want to turn this site into a homeless camp. They want to put up a fence, bring in portable toilets, and the nonprofit who manages the garden right next door is all in on offering support. We feel like we can, you know, keep up with five or six people, and it, it, it's sustainable for five or six people here. It's not sustainable for 35. ODOT was going to evict the campers. We have an obligation to Oregonians to make sure that ODOT's property, the public's property, is managed according to the law. And camping in this area is illegal. But we've learned the mayor may be open to helping the campers stay. I hope that he is. We asked the mayor why and if this opens the door to a bunch of right to dream two type camps all over the city. I think there could be temporary improvement in the conditions of some of these campgrounds without going the whole distance to creating multiple right to dream twos. We're not ready to have that discussion now if ever, but it's certainly possible that we might be able to provide more basic sanitation and safety for people that are sleeping outside and try to have that happen in places that has the least uh, noxious side effects on everybody else. There are few issues as controversial in Portland as homeless camps. Some neighbors want to help, others want them gone. At this site, the options are still open. ODOT has yet to receive a formal request from the mayor's office to discuss this property in more detail. However, we, we would be open to those discussions. In Portland, Chris Woodard, Coin 6 News. So right now, ODOT says they're verifying where the property lines are. Mm -hmm. That's determined where they would have the right to evict those campers.